Well, folks, in today's video, I'm going to be finally revealing what the Mammoth Project is. This is something that's taken me an extraordinarily long amount of time to get around to doing, but today's the day I'm going to be revealing with you guys exactly what the Mammoth Project is and what we're going to be constructing in the very, very near future. Now, it might have seemed completely out of context, but back in my birthday vlog in April, I visited Tweed, which is a cannabis producer in the former Hershey factory in Smith Falls. This doesn't seem like it would have to do anything with a model railroading channel, but it will very, very soon. When I went on that tour, that was about the first time the tour line has been open in the last 10 years, ever since the factory was closed in 2008. Sometime during the summer of 2005, me and my family went out there and we went on a tour of the place. And I cannot explain it, but something about that place absolutely stuck with me. I was never a kid of reactions, but I can remember just from my own personal experience, being blown away by the place. Unfortunately, in 2008, the factory was closed by Hershey as they moved production out to Mexico, and the factory sat vacant for about five years. And then it was in the summer of 2013 when the factory looked like it was about to be demolished. It was one month away from demolition, and that's when the folks at Tweed came along and saved the entire factory from demolition. Now it's living its second life as a cannabis producer, and it's doing pretty well at it. So that's the whole story of the factory. But it stuck with me so much, there have been a lot of things related to it um, that I feel I need to share with you guys, and they're going to be related to today's project. I was so obsessed with this factory closing that I archived probably a hundred stories from the factory. I've archived over the years about 3,000 photos. I rebuilt the entire factory in Minecraft. Besides model railroading, it's probably my second biggest obsession, and I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's a very bizarre one, but it means a lot, and today I want to announce that I'm going to be completely reconstructing part of it in HO scale as it was in 2005 when I visited it. Now, I've already invested a lot in supplies, which I've ordered from all various websites. I've already got styrofoam and stuff like that. So we're going to be constructing this thing, but I want to construct it to a T. I want it to be ridiculously detailed. I've already actually made a few basic parts, which were kind of trial projects to see if constructing this thing was actually kind of viable. Um, but I'm bringing it down to the level of detail where uh, the area between the bricks, the mortar, is actually going to be colored in with paint. The bricks are going to be colored so they're the exact same color as the ones on the factory. I've handmade uh, the letters that were on the factory out of solder and I've painted them and sanded them so that they look identical. I'm measuring everything to scale. Um, it's, I want it to be as realistic as possible. So that's what the Mammoth Project is. And uh, I think it's going to be a big one, but an exciting one. Now, the reason this is all related to model railroading is, first of all, I'm making it an HO scale. But second of all, they actually had kind of like a little uh, shunting yard in the back that they would use to uh, bring ingredients into the factory. So this is going to be, uh, you know, an active part of the model railway. I'll actually be able to do switching back there, uh, which is why I was saying those switches are part of the Mammoth Project, because they're going to be going into the uh, back of that factory where all the uh, switching was. So there is a model train aspect to it. There's a model aspect, and it's frankly something that I've always wanted to construct. I'm not going to be able to construct the entire factory, but I'm going to be constructing the middle portion, uh, which includes where all the switching actually is on the back of the factory, and it's also going to include the front of the factory where all the tour-related stuff is. So anyways, that's the Mammoth Project. Now I'm going to show the supplies that I've gathered so far to actually construct this thing, because it really is going to be a Mammoth Project. Well, here's all the stuff I've gathered so far. I know maybe to some of you guys this won't look like a lot of stuff, but um, everything's in its most compressed state uh, in the sense that all the walls and stuff like that, which are going to go sideways, are flat right now. So uh, it's gonna. there's a lot more supplies here than maybe meets the eye. Uh, now here are the switches, which are going to be going in the back where all the kind of shunting area is. Uh, here are some pieces of wood I got in that lot. These are probably going to be used, uh, the smaller ones for uh, window framing, the bigger ones for beams and uh, details like that. Uh, right here I've actually got the trial piece of bricks that I bought from my local hobby shop and uh, 
you can see I've actually filled in all the little mortars with paint and I painted this to the color I wanted it because uh, this was the default color and it isn't anything like what is on the factory so I've got this and it's uh, in proper light this basically looks like the same bricks on the factory and that's going to be for the majority of the exterior of the factory but not all of it some parts were made with this uh, sort of sheet metal and uh, this was all painted as well to be the correct color. You can see it was actually white and we painted it. These are the letters that went uh, in front of where the tour area is. And uh, I cut these all, every single piece I made out of brass. And uh, I soldered them all together. You can see all the little sides. I had to cut out every single uh, side, solder it on, sand it, and then paint it. And I did that with all the letters. So I've got all the letters and they're made exactly to size. Uh, I actually counted how many bricks went beside the letters uh, on of pictures of the factory and then uh, measured them up against this. I made a lot of measurements to make sure I was doing this accurately, so we've got those. Uh, and here is like $80 worth of supplies from uh, Model Model Builder Store. Um, and uh, this probably weighs five pounds. There is a ton of supplies in here. So uh, it's basically the same stuff. Uh, these two things and a few other uh, panels and things like that. Just stuff uh, that will be needed to uh, make the exterior of the factory. I've also got a whole bunch of paints and things like that. And those are going to be used to obviously uh, paint these so that they all look the same. They're all the same color and everything. Uh, over here we have these... Uh, Crude oil tanks, some of you guys might have remembered me buying these. Uh, these were going to be part of the factory, but I don't think they will because uh, basically I had to cut off uh, parts of the factory that were less relevant uh, simply to make it smaller because the default factory is uh, 470,000 square feet, so uh, definitely not something I could fit down here on a layout this size, but the area I have uh, should fit. So these might actually wind up becoming a maple syrup factory, which seems to be what everybody uh, wants wants them to be. So yeah, maybe I'll take those off and write maple on them or something. I don't know. But yeah, that is all the supplies so far to constructing this massive factory, and it's really going to be something. So uh, yeah, and then obviously uh, I've got the pieces of styrofoam. This was a um, four by eight piece but I had to cut it down to probably about six and a half because what I didn't realize is when I got the wood for my speeder that was a four by eight sheet but I forgot that I'd had it cut at the store so I thought my mom's SC V could fit four by eight sheets um, it couldn't so I had to cut this with my keys out in the parking lot so it's a bit smaller and I've got the second piece of styrofoam to uh, actually construct the factory itself uh, to make the structure of it so those are what those are for uh, and they're made out of a really cool styrofoam. This stuff is actually quite solid. Um, so it should, it's supposed to be quite high resistant. So uh, hopefully that will mean it will last a really long time. Anyways, that's everything that's going to be going into this project. It's going to be massive, but I think it's going to be uh, a really fun thing to construct. And uh, I really can't wait to get started. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, we'll pro I hope we can get some videos up soon, uh, maybe once school is done, of uh, beginning construction on this thing. So, uh, thank you guys for watching.